logging in its current state is fundamentally broken. The logging statements clutter up the logic of your code. And writing those logging statements is a huge distraction from actual coding. Uh, you have to think about what you want to log, and you have to think about things like logging levels, and it's a big distraction. And in any long-running program, parsing through huge log files to find the root cause of an issue is very, very tough. And just the fact that with log files, we are trying to predict errors in advance is fundamentally broken by its very nature. With the post-execution logging functionality in Cronon, you can add logging anywhere in your program after it has executed and see the results of those log statements instantly. This means that you can get rid of all the log statements in your program. So you don't have to clutter up your code with log statements and it re results in much faster development and much cleaner code. It also increases the performance of your program a little bit because you don't have any extra overhead of any of those logging statements. So let's go ahead and delete some of the logging statements in this program to reduce all the logging related clutter. This one. This. This. Here. And we have much cleaner code now. Now that we've completed the execution of our program and opened the recording and turned on, we can literally go ahead and add logging to any part of the program that we wish. So let's go to this start method, for example, and let's add a logging statement here. And it'll be hit on method entry. Uh, let's put something simple like started. Add this. Let's add a few more logging statements. Uh, let's go to this connect method and uh, let's add something here. Uh, trying to connect. Notice that we can actually access the variables also in our logging statement. So I can say something like this dot server address. Uh, and let's also put the port. Let's add a couple more logging statements and we'll put one here which says uh, connected. And one for disconnected. Note that none of this is cluttering up my code. Now that we've added these few logging statements, let's go ahead and run this. Now, if we run this, we'll see the results instantly, no matter how long the actual program took to run. Uh, so over here, we can see exactly how the results would look like if the statements were actually embedded in our program when it was running. So we can see that, that our program started, it tried connecting to the server, then it connected, and then it disconnected. And if you click on any of the logging statements, Cronon takes us directly to the point in time when that logging statement would have been executed had it been in your program originally. And then we can obviously step back and see uh, what exactly caused that logging uh, statement or that state to be reached. Uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and add a few more of these logging statements. Uh, so let's see. I have uh, this message received method over here. And let's log every message that we receive. And normally, sometimes you wouldn't do something like this because of things like performance implications. Uh, but our program has already ran, and Cronon already has a very efficient way of capturing all your runtime data. So let's go ahead and see all the messages that, that came through. And we'll put this on this line. So if line 36 is hit, is only when this logging statement would be output. Uh, let's add another one here, uh, a final one, which is hit when this initialized is equal to true line would be hit. We'll say initialized. So we add this and let's play back the logging. And again, we have our new logging statements. 
again done in no time and we can see we tried to connect we got connected then we got this first message uh, thrown on and uh, then we got initialized then we got all these other messages and then we disconnected and again the logging executed instantly respective of the time it took to actually run the program and like Cronon typical like typical Cronon fashion you can click on any statement and jump to the point in time when that statement was executed.